Welcome to the world of object oriented programming. In the object oriented world, everything is an object. Objects are entities in a program. When we write a Java program, we need to model the program in the form of entities or objects. For example, when writing a calculator program, a calculator should be an object. When we think about objects, we need to think about two things. Things the object knows, things the object does. For example, to start with, a calculator should add and subtract two numbers. In this case, the calculator object will know the numbers it needs to add or subtract and it will actually add and subtract the numbers. Things an object knows about itself are called instance variables. They represent the state of the object. Things an object can do are called methods. They represent the behavior of the object. What are classes? Are they same as objects? Shouldn't calculator be a class as well? Well, a class is a blueprint for an object. It tells the JVM how to make an object of that particular type. Each object made from the class can have its own values for the instance variables of the class. For example, when students join school, they are issued ID cards. All ID cards have the same template, but different values for the fields. The ID card template is the class with the blank fields or instance variables. When a new student joins, the card is filled with entries specific to the student. The card specific to a student is an object. The entries that we make on that card represents its state. The methods of the class are the things we do on a particular card, like swiping the card for recording attendance and also getting and setting the different properties. They determine the behavior of the object. Going back to the calculator, Calculator should in fact be a class with instance variables and methods. Each student gets her own calculator object constructed from the calculator class. So every student gets a calculator with the same features, but every student can use her calculator object the way she likes. Given a class calculator, we can construct an object of the class by using the new operator. We can call methods on the object by using the dot operator like this. Let's recap. In this video, we got introduced to the world of object-oriented programming. Everything is an object in Java. Objects have state and behavior. State of the object is what object knows. Behavior is what object does. State is represented by instance variables and behavior by the methods. Classes are blueprints for an object. An object made from the class can have its own values for the instance variables. Object of a class is created by using the new operator and methods are called by using the dot operator. 